Okay, Jake, you got your knife? Many ways to fillet a fish, but um, tailor are pretty easy to fillet. They're like pretty straightforward. I start up here, I run a, a cut along the spine through there, and then I lift the meat up. Then I go down to the, the rib cage, is just in under here. I, I feel the rib cage with the knife, run over the top of the rib cage, and then holding the blade sort of flat against the spine but not digging it in because if you dig it in it'll cut into the bone and just run through there like that and that's it take it off then we flip it over and do the other side which is the same sort of process cut in there run along the spine and then oh, Once I get that front part and the rib cage separated, I just put that knife flat against the spine. That's the other side. From there, there's a rib cage through there. So I find those, you can see, actually see those bones through there. I, I take those bones, get rid of them. Then there's the um, little centre bones through the middle. I'll put a cut there and a cut there, either side of the centre bones. And then I normally do both fillets. This is the same again. You can see the rib cage there. Take the rib cage off. I missed a bone. Get rid of that. Centre bones. And I, I don't use my filleting knife to skin it. I use, use a flatter blade or an old bread knife is actually the best thing. We can't find one at the moment. So we're just going to use sort of a flat bladed knife. If you use too sharp a knife, it just cuts straight through the skin. Lay that against the skin, slide it through, and you actually move the skin from side to side rather than the knife. Then you can take the little section of bone out, get rid of that. I don't ever put my fillet on the board where all the fish slime and everything is, I just put it back on top of the skin. Again, I've already taken that centre bit. No, no, there's a centre bit there. Then I just take, with Taylor, there is a, a fairly heavy bloodline through it. I just cut that out. Rather than lay it on the board, I'll put the skin there. A little bit of skin left on there, I'm going to leave it there because it's no scales or anything on it, it's fine. Keep it on the skin, not on the board. Same with this one. Take that bloodline out. Now we're going to go and make some beer batter and cook our tailor up. Eating this fish fresh is absolutely beautiful. If you freeze it, it's not so nice, but eating it fresh is really good. Caught our tailor. Now we're home after seven or eight beers. 
and then making beer batter just to keep the night going. So we, we, we cheated this time. Normally you use um, half plain and half self-raising flour, but we bought um, actual instant batter and we just tipped beer in it. The other one that's really good is lemonade. Lemonade works fine. Whip it up to a, a medium consistency. And we're going to get our fish, put it in there, let it oil get quite hot. So we've got the beer batter going. I just added a tiny bit more beer because it had stiffened up while we let it sit cooking the chips. Now I'm going to throw a bit more fish in there and we're going to take the chips out and cook the fish up. Coat them in batter. Just got to wait for the chips to come out. We can throw the fish in and it is going to be divine. We've got our beer Hi batter on. going on, we've got our tailor that we caught today, and we don't have a deep fry, so we're just shallow frying it. We've got the sweet potato chips and the chips cooked. Dinner is going to be totally awesome. Fresh from Fraser Island. Thanks for watching our videos. If you're wanting more information on about Fraser and traveling the beaches and enjoying all the beautiful things to see over there, we have a YouTube channel that you can subscribe to, All About Fraser, and on there there's a collection of videos that you can watch and go through and there's you'll pick up a huge amount of knowledge watching the videos. So when you get there, it won't feel like the first time at all.